para isso. Yes! Nosso papel, não é o alente. Vou só Não tem Não tem Can't you hear it? No, no, it'd be cut out, wouldn't it? Why? So the only thing would copyright. Oh. So all that is you dancing, nothing. Let's get the ketchup. Let's get the What's your pre-match song? Huh? Pre-match song. Pre-match what? Your pre-match song. Song? Yeah. Mmm. Ready to kick that? Not a dog, the ball. Gigs talking the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> so elegant. What's your pre-match song and why? Pre-match song? Mine's a bit of Space Cowboy, because I like, just constantly walk on the pitch like this is the return of Space Cowboy. I go nuts. That's how, that's how I look at it. Yeah? And it gets me hyped up everything. Every time I go on a night out, that is me. <laughs> song comes whatever night, top coming off, that's me. <laughs> Gems, yeah. what's your pre-match song? Pre-match song? Yeah. I, I follow rivers. Yeah. Boy, starting team, Daniel, Daniel's in goal, he knows he's in goal. Sunil right back, Ali left back, two centre halves, Louis Savory and Joe. Centre half, yeah? A Rash and Louis Rowe, two centre mids, where is he? Yeah, he's over there. Gems, you're in the 10, Zach on the left, yeah? Grizzle on the right and then Kai's up top. Boy, it's half time, we make some changes, <laughs> we mix it up a little bit. Alright, so basically, I'm a brother Reese. Uh, we set this game up today to raise money for uh, my uh, run next month. I'm running for mine. Everyone knows why this team started. Uh, started this team for Michael, Carl, everyone else. So all the money's going to mine, Lambeth, uh, no, mine, South London, sorry. And Reese, thank you for doing this, brother. Um, yeah, tell me about your team, bro. No, we're a brand new team. Uh, basically, our old club, don't want to say too much, didn't want us anymore. And we decided as mates to make our own team. Obviously, knowing Kai, what he's doing is so good, so we thought we'd do our best to come and help. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank nice. you. And who's that? Thank you. 
Get him. Loki! <laughs> we have noticed that quite a few of our viewers are watching the videos and haven't subscribed. So just pause this video just now, just to please hit that subscribe button. Help your boys get to 5k subscribers. Enough from me. On to the good stuff. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another episode of the Peepers FC. This week is a midweek fixture, raising money for Mind Charity and also Kai's run that's upcoming. The link for the run and the donation will be in the description of this video. Today, we're playing against Fleet Flamingos. I don't know too much about them, but hopefully we can raise good money for Kai and for Mind Charity. So without further ado, let's get into it. That's an absolute massive challenge there from Lou on the Flamingos player. VAR will be coming up. And I want you to let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good tackle or if that was a foul and it should be a penalty. But Snell's on the ball. It's going to try to find a pass. Wasteful. And it's going to go straight back into the keeper. So on second viewing, I think that is a good challenge there from Lou. And refereeing probably made the right decision not to give the penalty. But that's a big L1 triangle to the player here on the left-hand side. It's going to make its way towards the box. It's going to get past. And that's 1-0. Bad start. So we are a transparent club and we are going to show you the games when we're absolutely slapping teams as you've seen the past two weeks in the league games. But we're also going to show you the games when we're not at the races. And going 1-0 down really early on the game in this against Flamingos is pretty much a prime example of us not being at the races so far. But uh, Joe's going to try to find a pass. It's going to lose the ball to number 19. Joe's going to dive in and this should be a penalty. And for me, that is a stonewall penalty. Referee said no and that's all that matters. Joe's going to try to find a pass inside to Rash. Rash is going to travel on the ball and he's going to find uh, Nulu to his right-hand side. Nulu's going to give it back into Rash and Rash is going to give it uh, into Ali. Ali's going to switch ball across to Nulu. Patient play now for the boys. L1 triangle, big switch to Sunil. Sunil's not going to get there and it's going to be a throw. VAR coming. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if we've got lucky and the referee has and the referee's missed it and both of them are penalties or if you think that the referee's got a bang on and neither of them are penalties. Let me know in the comments below. But here you can see a foul on number seven. Uh, nothing malicious in it. Little handshake from the boys. And here it's going to be a free kick for Flamingos. The boys haven't learnt from last week. Last week we didn't stand on a free kick and we haven't done it yet again. Quick free kick taken from Flamingos to the left hand side of this player. Snell's going to cut, uh, it's going to track back and the ball's going to go to the player here in the box. Gonna have a shot, big hand there for the keeper. Ball's bounced to number eight. It's gonna whip the ball in. Big clearance from Lou. Ball's gone up in the air. Good touch there from the Flamingos player. It's gonna cut the ball in, and there's gonna be wide at the post. It's number seven of the ball for Flamingos. It's gonna feed the ball on the right hand side to number six. He's got he's gone an overlap. He's not gonna use him, and he's gonna cut the ball back to Lukey Hall, ex people's player. It's gonna feed it into the skipper. It's gonna give it inside to number eight. I think that was into number seven. Number seven's gonna whip the ball in first time into number 22, and that's two. The way the highlights are all Flamingos at the moment, you wouldn't be mistaken to think that you've just scrolled across. Flamingo's YouTube channel and the fact you are actually watching People's FC YouTube channel this has been an absolute shambles but easy shot easy for the keeper to collect the keeper's going to roll it out to Joe Joe's going to travel and he's going to give the ball inside so easily accepted there by number 22 number 22 is going to use the player to his right hand side it's getting pressed now by Ali I think uh, that, that is really soft referee's giving it I have no clue how that's about so Reese for Flamingo standing over the free kick an opportunity for them to potentially get their third goal he's going to whip the ball in he's not going to shoot and it's going to get headed away by Lou. It's gone straight back to Reese. Reese is going to assess his options. It's going to use the player on the overlap number seven. Number seven is going to whip the ball in. That's a great ball and it's going to get headed away by Lou again. The ball's gone to Rash. Rash is going to clear it. That's wasteful and it's gone straight back to Flamingos. At the moment the boys can't catch a break. It's all for Flamingos at the moment. I will be completely honest. But the ball's going to get fed down line now to this player here. Can't see the shirt number. He's through on goal and that's three. The Luke on the ball for Flamingos. It's going to give the ball to number seven. Number seven's going to assess it and he's going to give the ball back to Luke. Luke, first time pass, but it's straight into Zach. Zach's going to let the ball run to Kai. Kai's going to give it into Gems and Gems is going to give it into Zach. These are play now from the boys. Hopefully, we can try and get something from this attack. Ball's going to go through. It's gone to uh, Lou and that's just wide the post. So the Flamingo sent back on the ball. It's going to feed the ball inside to this player here. And here, this is an unbelievable run. Great footwork. Uh, unbelievable. It's going to skip in and out of the players. Deserve to go at the end of it. He's not. He's going to back heel it into number six unselfishly. Big challenge there for the boys. It's going to have a shot. It's going to hit the bar. Don't have that pushed onto the bar by the keeper. And Sunil's on the ball now. Sunil's going to try to turn the burners on. It's getting pressed now by the Flamingo's player. It's going to feed the ball down line. 
to um, Kai, and that's gone out now for a throw. The normal malarkey, but nothing exciting happened from that throw, so we're going to show you the next throw. Throw inside to the player here in the box, back heel into the player, it's going to fizzle cr across the face of the goal, and the ball's gone to number seven, I think it is. Number seven is going to twitch the ball across to number 23, Zorro. Zorro's going to feed the ball into this player here, it's going to, going to look for an option, number 18 it is. Now, he's going to have a shot, and that's a great save there for the keeper. Strong hand, and that's side netting. So Daniel in goal for the boys. He's going to play a short goal kick now to the right hand side and the ball's gone to, I'm not too sure, uh, it's gone to Gems. Gems on the ball, he's going to assess it and he's going to L1 try and go all the way over the top. He's going to get flicked on by the Flamingo player, dodgy back pass from Luke, Kai's through on goal and that is 3-1. Is that a way back into the game? Let's find out. So Lou on the ball, Lou's going to assess his options, he's going to get pressed now by this player, cuts in the shirt number, and he's holding on to the ball far too long, but that is a little bit saucy, he's got away with one there. He's going to lose the ball now to Reese. Reese is, is on the ball, he's got options, plenty of options, but he's going to recycle, he's going to go back now to number 23. Number 23 is going to switch it across to the centre back, and the centre back's going to give it in to Luke. Luke's going to give it in, lovely play now from Flamingos to be fair. The boy is going to dive in, I'm not sure if that was a foul or not, the play you see the player just fly in the middle of the pitch, and that's going to be a shot, and that's way over. If you're thinking that player there with the ball in his hands looks like Jamie Lyons that used to manage the Peoples last season, that's because it is. But the ball's going to get whipped in, good touch there by the player, he's going to swing, he shoots, and that's 4 1. This is poor. So I'm not entirely too sure what's actually happened here, but Daniel's down, he is injured. I'm not too sure if he's injured or if his pride's just hurt him because the boys are getting absolutely slapped at the moment. But no, jokes aside, hopefully if Daniel is injured, hopefully it's a speedy recovery. But here you can see Marcus coming on and he's going to be coming on for the injured Daniel. So Lukey Hill on the ball, he's got, he's got space and time, no one's pressing him, so he's going to travel. He's going to give the ball inside to number 23, play with the mask. He's going to jump over the challenge of Zach, and he's going to cut the ball back into number 16. Number 16 is going to switch it into Reese, and Reese is going to give it across to Jamie on the left hand side. Jamie's going to assess his options, he's going to feed the ball back now to this player here. He's going to feed the ball through, that's a great ball to be fair, into this player here. Can't see the shirt number, he's going to dive in, and it's going to be a free kick now for Flamingos. So if Flamingo score from this, this game could be all but done even in the first half. Luki Hall is going to stand over the free kick, it's headed up by the boys, the ball's going to bounce down to this player here, it's going to have a shot, and that's 5 1. So 5 1 down, and it's definitely no shame in admitting that we are losing to the better team. But I say, even when we are slapping teams in midweek charity fixtures, that the result is pretty much irrelevant as long as we can raise money, what we are trying to do for, and in this case, it's raising money for my charity. But the ball's through to this player here on the left hand side. He's going to cut, he's going to make his way towards the box. He's going to cut it in, and that is 6 1. So unless we go back in our previous playlist and have a look at what our heaviest defeat is, I'm not too sure what our heaviest defeat is in the history of this club, but I'm hoping that this isn't going to be it. But Lou's on the ball, Lou's going to feed it into New Lou, New Lou's going to sort his feet, and shortly the referee is going to blow for half time. Hopefully we can sort this out in the second half. Each week, you do see one of the opposition players trying to rip our players' shirts off. Don't be like them. Buy our merch. Support the boys. Reach us on any of our social media accounts to get some of our merch. Please support for the people. One of their goals was from three of our players not looking at a throwing. It's about four goals. Same, same, mm -hmm. same as Sunday. Well, not, we can't clear a ball. Oh, yeah. I don't. And I don't get why. When, we, when it's in our box, why don't we just kick it up there? It don't make sense. I don't know. Wait, we've got three centre mids, not one of them wants to get on the ball. No, not one. Oh. They're oh, together, that's why. Huh? <laughs> are we trying to get on the ball? You, mate, you've not. <laughs> I'll be absolutely honest, hey, you've not. Gens, have we been trying to get on the ball in the midfield? No. These lot reckon we haven't. There's a lot of reckon, I know, I can literally see it. Every time you're getting on the ball, you get on the ball in centre half. Let me go, let me go. Well, you're going to cry about it. But we can literally see you're not trying to get on the ball. That's why we've got to go long. Alright, second half team. Sinil, stay right back for me. Ali, stay left back. Louis Rowe and. Who is he? Eman? Yeah. Yeah, two centre halves. Adam and Sam, boys, you two uh, centre mids. Grizz, you go in the 10. 
Dawson. Yeah. Dawson on the right. Yeah. Gems on the left. Kai. Wait, wait, let's just do the simple things, please. When we're under pressure, get rid of it. If, you got, if you're under pressure, just go back. And boys, let's switch on. They're doing everything quick and no one's clocking it. We've conceded like two or three goals from not even picking up players from a throw in. It's so dumb, man. Boys, I don't even mind if we concede good goals, but we ain't conceding any good goals. So, second half underway. As you heard from Ted at half time, there's a few changes, so I don't need to talk about the changes. And hopefully, we can try and get taken in the second half. Shot, and that's wide. So, a short goal kick taken out from Marcus into Louis. Good press there from number nine, but the boys, the boys are going to manage to switch it across to Eman. Eman inside to Adam, and Adam came late in the first half, so you are going to see Adam in the second half. Hopefully, the magic man can try to produce something in the second half. But Ali is going to uh, switch the ball inside to Sam. It's going to miss Sam, and it's going to go to Adam. Adam's going to ping the ball uh, out wide now to uh, Darcy. Darcy's seen the run of Chris. He's going to ignore it, and he's going to go out wide now to Sunil. Sunil's going to make his way towards the box. He's going to fist the ball in, off Grizz, and that's 6-2. So the boys now have the throw. So the ball's going to get thrown into Kai. Kai's going to assess his options. He's got Snail for an option and he's not going to use him. He's going to travel with the ball. Good footwork. He's going to skip over a couple of challenges and he's going to give the ball into Grizz. Grizz is going to switch the ball. Big switch all the way to Snail. Snail's going to try header it to Darcy. It's going to Jamie. Jamie's going to try and go home and that's his own goal and it's 6-3. So the referee deemed that Jamie's goal did go over the line, but even if it didn't, the boys smashed home the rebound anyway, and 6-3, and surely the boys can't come back. If we do, this would be an un unbelievable comeback. But Kai's the ball, Kai's going to get pressed back by the defender, and here you can see Darcy's going to pull back the player. I've got no clue how the referee's not giving it as a foul. That is an absolute atrocious decision there, to be fair. But Kai's the ball, he's got Sunil for an option, he's going to give the ball out wide to Sunil. Sunil's going to make his way towards the box, good footwork, good challenge there from Jamie also. Uh, can't really see what's going on actually out on the right hand side, but the ball's gone to um, Darcy. Darcy's going to uh, travel the ball, still got Sunil. Sunil's going to make his way towards the box. He's going to skip over a couple of challenges. Good footwork. He's going to fist the ball over. And that's somehow not the boys that ain't got a touch on it. But Gems is going to keep the ball in play. The determination there from Gems is unreal. He's going to skip over the player. like Almost like he's got a skateboard. He's going to have a shot. A strange angle. And that's wide. So that Gems and the skateboard comparison was absolutely awful. But I'm not going to go back and re-record that. But the ball's gone to number nine. Number nine's going to travel the ball. And he's going to give it inside to the centre mid. The centre mid's going to feed the ball through. That's a great ball. Through to number 23. Number 23's got number nine for an option. But he's not going to use him. And he's going to go out wide now to number 20. Number 20 versus Ali. He's going to try and get the ball into his left foot. Good footwork. And he's going to give the ball into the number nine. Number nine's going to lose the ball to Sunil. He's gone to this player here. Can't see the shirt number. But he's going to give it into the centre mid. Centre mid's going to switch. Switch ball out wide now to the left. Boys are asking for offside. We need to play to the whistle. Ball's gone to this player, and that's 7 3. So the centre mid for Flamingo is on the ball now. It's going to travel through. He's under no pressure. I don't know where the boys are. No one's pressing him. And the ball's going to get switched across to number 12. Number 12 is going to jump over the challenges. He's going to skip past Adam, and he's going to get past Zach. He's going to give the ball to number 23. Number 23 is going to travel on the ball. Again, there's no pressure. The ball's going to get fed through to this player. He's going to bullet it in. And that's 8 3. It's game over, surely. So number 11 for Flamingo is on the ball. It's going to feed the ball through, but it's easy there for Marcus to clear away. Ball's going to go all the way over the top. Good chest control there, and, it's, and Grizz is going to press him. Good press there from Grizz, and that's also a very good spin there from the Flamingos player. Good advantage there from the referee, and number 21, I think that is. Big switch across, all the way across to this player here. It's going to massive switch, that's a massive L1 triangle, all the way over the top, and it's easy enough for Sunil to see out. So Eman with a short goal kick, he's going to give it into Adam, Adam's going to miscontrol it, that's a complete lack of concentration there from Adam, Adam's much better than that, and this player here is going to travel in the ball, he's going to feed it into number 12, number 12 is going to make his way, he's going to have a shot, deflects in, and that's 9-3, that is a shambles. So there's Flamingo player on the ball, number 22, number 22 is going to travel, Zach's going to get a foot in, and this player here, number 10, is going to have a shot, and that's way wide. So since Peeps FC started, we've had some really poor results on camera, and this one's definitely up there as well. This has just been poor from start to finish, but take nothing away from Flamingos. Marcus on the ball, number 22, he's going to have to try and get past him, Marcus is going to knock it out for a corner. So a corner for that resultant clip, ball's going to get whipped in, reaches the head of a Flamingo player, and that's 10-3.
Man, I've lost count. I can't lie. So I don't think anyone can actually blame Josh, the, our cameraman who's filming. You heard him there. He's lost count of what the scoreline is. Josh, I will help you. It's 10-3. The boys are getting absolutely smoked here. But the uh, Flamingo player sent him in. It's on the ball. Number five. It's going to switch the ball across now to this player here. It's going to have a shot. Ambitious. And that's over. I think if you could show one clip that sums up this performance, it's that clip right there. That, that just sums up our luck. And we're trying to pick, pick up a pass. It's going to hit Grizz's Achilles. And the ball's going to bounce straight back to them. They're going to have a shot. But that's wide. So the Flamingo skippers on the ball. It's going to switch the ball across into the centre mid. The centre mid's going to lose the ball now to Eman. Good strength there from Eman. And Eman's going to give the ball into Sunil. Sunil's not calm and composed. It's going to go back now to Marcus. Marcus will assess his options. And he's going to switch the ball across now to Ali. Ali's going to give the ball inside to, I think that's to Lou. That is, that's losing the ball. Lou's going to pick the pass inside the middle now to uh, Grizz. Grizz is going to travel on the ball. He's getting pressed now by the Flamingo player. And he's going to switch the ball across now to Adam. Adam's going to travel on the ball. He's still got options. He's got Kai. And he's going to give the ball into Kai now. Kai's going to try a spin. He's going to have a shot. Keeper's going to fumble it. Adam's on the ball. And he's going to tap it in. Nothing but a consolation. So thankfully the referee is shortly going to put us out of our misery. But it will be chance for one last clip. Uh, the boys, the boys are on the ball. Can't really see who that is, but it's going to be a big switch into the into the box. It's going to get headed away only as far as Adam. Adam's going to sort his feet. He's going to have a shot, but he drags it wide. So thank you so much, Flamingos, for playing us. The referee is shortly going to blow the full time whistle. Please donate to the link for Mind Charity in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Fuck for that. Yeah, cheers, you too. We cut some fury. It's so wet, it's like a Oh